I'm Larry Mullins from Inner Technology. We have a product called a, a Model P3. It's a, it's a four channel strain indicator and recorder. Um, it can do four simultaneous strain gauges or any four simultaneous full bridges. The P3 recorder has, um, uh, can take a, a, a 120 ohm, 350 ohm, or, or uh, you can do your own bridge completion. Um, it has an LCD display and it has a data logger where you can store up to two gigs of data. Um, it also, the uh, data logger can, re can record one channel per second per channel. And we're gonna be showing you uh, how it works on a one quarter bridge uh, circuit. All right, thanks Larry. So let me try and explain a bit further. What we have is, we have a reading here on channel one of a, of a single gauge attached to the recorder and we can have a, we look at this and we see that there is a strain gauge response there. If I apply tension on my strain, I can increase. If I apply compression on this, on this strain gauge, I'm gonna get a negative reading. If I look at the setup of the, of, of the gauge, if I look at this, the, the, set, the setting of gauge one tells us that we're reading strain at, with a gauge factor of two. If I, if I look at the, the different channels here, I've got a channel set up for a quarter, a full bridge, active bridge, an undefined half bridge, and also an undefined full bridge. So I can select any type of setup I want. And we have, we have built into the system Completion resistors, we have a quarter bridge here and we have precision resistors built into the unit to complete the bridge so we can accommodate 120, 350 and 1000 ohm strain gauges directly. We also have very importantly the ability to, uh, first of all, to balance the bridge to zero with no load on it. So we're going to press balance over here and we press balance again. It will automatically balance and I will save the setup and the balance condition and we end up with a zero count. So now I can apply a load and whatever I have, I can, uh, sorry, I can see here by applying a load, I can get a positive output from zero and if I apply a load and take it off, it comes back to zero. And, and again, to check the calibration, we, you check the calibration of your setup before you start. So let me balance this again because there's some warming up of the unit. I'll balance it. Record. And now I can check the calibration of the unit by applying a shunt cal of, uh, uh, representing 5,000 microstrain. And here we have 5,000 microstrain. The difference here of five is related to the lead length of the, of the wire joining the, the gauge to, the, to the, the unit. So we can adjust this, but this is a reasonable count level. So we know that it's reading within uh, 0.1, 0.1 of a percent accuracy. So we, we take off the shunt, we are at zero. And we can now apply load, or if you want to record, we can record to the to the memory card. 